company. We got Mirror Man and Rose J together once again. Oh, play, oh, facing off fun. against Zoo and Chavo. We'll see how that's this is going to go down. I don't want it to be a wash, though. That's what I'm scared about. Yeah. I'm scared about Mirror Man just going in there and just like, Lucky yo, here's an up air. Up air for you. Up air for you. Up air for everyone. All right, let's get it. All right, man. Going into it. Game one. Mirror Man and Mystic Rose J going up against Zoo and Chavo. Man. Another six set in store for us, that's for sure. Man, already yep. Chavo putting him putting down Rose J in a pretty particular spot, trying to get these spikes, gets it on Mirror oh. Man, able to survive. It was only a 34, so it didn't wow. fall too far down. But that yep. was a very impressive start. No, absolutely. And great save there by Rose J. Kind of make sure they're okay, sitting back. And these guys are getting cornered pretty quickly by Zoo and Chavo, actually. Yeah. Great pressure here. Oh, it's a down tilt. You already know what a time it is. Oh, barely gonna make it back. Yep, it's gonna be close, but a ton of damage. We're diving deep. Okay, backpack coming into action. Here we go, Rose J at 137, Mirror Man 112. Like, Team Yellow doing a fantastic job for this start. They just gotta keep this up. Keep up yep, the momentum. I think they're just doing a good job of just rushing them down. True. Going high. Oh, oh that was Batman. One piece. Yep, absolutely. Okay, I love this smoke grenade near close, forcing them to kind of have to go through that smoke, which means they get that applied, of course, that slowdown, and potentially get hit with that weakened state afterwards as well. And beautiful, beautiful up special there from Zoo. Zoo is flying around, man. He does not care about rabbits. My man hunts penguins, he hunts jokers, it don't matter. Literally just another day in the in the life of Batman, dude. Getting these uppercuts like crazy. Two points a piece here. Pretty even game in terms of damage as well. So this is literally anyone's game. Batman getting in there. Oh, got some yep. bad action, some little Step backpack back. action coming out from Chavo. Let's see, I mean, I love that. The item play, dude. <laughs> you guys are yeah. tossing it back and forth. It's still active too. Yeah. Wait a minute, be careful. It's coming for you. Oh, he be tossing it, bro. Cause that, yep. that's the item that spawns the me seeks and it's not yep. the greatest item in the world. So you might as well just throw it for its use instead. Gets the spike. Point for both teams here. But exactly. Very even damage right now. Chavo at 80, Mirror Man at 66, trying to get that up air. That would have been a very devastating spot for Chavo to be in. Manages to escape the situation that Burrow's still on deck. Spawns the safe. A lot of damage coming up. Chavo suddenly at 138. Has to get back to the middle of the stage. Though trying to get the stick on him as well. 142 running away. It's up to Zoo to try to do something. Gets the uppercut. He's got to it. Takes him. Oh my goodness. Takes the score to four to three. And that's going to be Chavo and Zoo taking away game number one. Oh my goodness, what an incredible display there. You saw the chase back and forth you talked about earlier, Juan. You saw Rose Jay trying to make something happen. And man, but at the end of it, man, Zoo finding his mark. Beautiful double chase, double jump into the up special to close out that game number one. And what an explosive game. That is the second time we saw Zoo call out the jumps there and get that stop easily on Mirror Man. Dude, I think Zoo might be Bruce Wayne. Like, is that him? Is he oh, the one that, doing yo, it? Don't give my boy got prep time, man. I'm telling yeah. you. Don't, <laughs> That's all he give him, don't give Zoo prep time. Brother. Good pickup by Mirror Man, by the way. Like yeah. right there. Rose J just setting it up. Mirror Man knew exactly where uh, he was going to fall to. Oh, and look, at the, look at this chase we were talking about, man. Right here. It's the charge in the moment. You see him go there. Caught him lacking. Than and the so whole time, Rose J was so fixated on Chavo because he was at 142. So, of course, he's going to go for it. But instead, Zoo comes back in here with the dash. Mirror Man not expecting the second swing that fast. So, he didn't even commit to the dash. Yeah. And that's going to be that. And by the way, that was those kind of sequences we were talking about. He actually went for a double jump. He went for air, uh, actually a up dash, right? So, he went for the air dodge, right? The up dodge immediately into a double jump which actually also increases the boost in your momentum that not only works on the ground but it works in the air and that's why he was able to get up there so quickly and catch him with that up special just to tip her man but those little movement tricks right those are the things that give you just enough you know mobility to close those gaps and make situations like that happen phenomenal play from zoo can't wait for this game number two. I, I still, I think I want this to go to game three, bro. I want the, I want a game three so yeah. bad of this set. Same. And Zoo is actually be out here with that Batman, dude. 
let's get this. And let's not, you know, let's not just include Javo. Javo's putting in a lot of work too, especially surviving near the end, just trying to stay alive so the zoo had the time to get us. We're done. Oh no! Caught in a bad spot. 31 damage. Zoo almost died immediately. Yeah. Okay, lots of dashes coming out from both teams. Looks like a 2v1 against uh, the Rose J coming out. They're using a lot of the burrows. Yeah, absolutely. And I've noticed like that's usually you'll see a lot of burrows come out from Mirror Man when he's kind of play more like more safe and cautious, right? So I think that kind of the mobility we've seen from Zoo has kind of forced him to kind of go underground, right? No pun intended, and kind of play a bit more patient in the situations. Here comes the Rocket Man. Oh man, just enough. Another one. Wow. Wow. That KDBI, like he 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 avoided the ceiling, but unfortunately he went to yeah. the wall. <laughs> How did that even happen? It was like he bounced off the wall, right? It's crazy. Yeah. Okay, we got a little stuck on Zoo here. Yeah. For uh, Grandmaster J. Oh, oh no, man. Oh, brother. What's happening? Everything's falling apart for Team Yoho. Dude, wow. These They said, now we try. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's looking disastrous right now. Oh, Just, oh dude, my god. Bro, 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 stuck, bro. bro, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did, did game one happen? Like, what? What? Thank you for this fight. Yo, talk to me. These chases were actually insane. I feel like Team Yellow just got ran over by a semi. Like, that's, well, that's what it no, feels it. like. Yeah. They said, no, don't don't get too excited here. No, no that, that was just game here. one, brother. That was just game one. Dude, look at that team, that corner carry. Coast to coast, man. Jeez. Yo, Arya said, don't ever come back to the north, dude. Don't don't see me here. <laughs> this is my turf, dude. This is this is my throne. That's what that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my throne. Not yours. Jeez. Bro, what a completely opposite game that we saw game number one, dude. Such a nail biter for game one, just for a, like a steamroll of game two. Like, yeah. what's even going to happen in the next one? Hopefully that doesn't ruin the Team Yellow's composure, you know? Like, Zoo and Chavo can still bring something to the table. They now have the advantage in terms of stage counter picks. So, they could pick the map here. Maybe pick a good map for themselves so that they could work on, you know? Maybe go to, like, a home turf type of situation with Batcave. Or maybe they just want the big, wide open stage. Depends on what they're trying to aim for, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I do think that they probably want to look at getting a stage that's probably a little bit smaller. You know, close in on the space. It seems like for the most part in scramble situations, they've been able to thrive. A lot of times when there's been enough space for really, uh, for Rose J and of course Mirror Man to really find their, their bearings, that's where you kind of see more of them being closely huddled and working as one unit, kind of going across the stage, getting their really strong combos, doing the vertical kills, or kind of go and try to pressure someone off the side. I think keeping it a scramble, keeping it tough, making sure they have to go through the smoke grenade, and also that means that you get more um, coverage overall with the batter ring. I think that's gonna be really key for them if they're looking to actually take this next game. Yeah. So we'll have to wait and see how that's gonna come into shape and form, right? Because Again, we saw a lot of uh, grappling hook from yeah. Zoo in previous games, but that time I feel like he didn't really get the opportunity to go for it because the only time he can go for it is what's like mid combo, or if it's like he has a little bit of distance because it has a slight little startup, you know. Right. On it, so if you ru if you rush down Batman, he can't get a lot of this stuff. So again, he needs prep time. So if you rush him yeah. down, he doesn't get that prep time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm interested to see what they're going to do here. I do love from Zoo also, like we have seen him kind of go and utilize the grappling hook on his teammate. So at times when he's in situations where he does need to kind of exit out and kind of like recoup his bearings, make sure that he gets the battering, he is willing to do that as well. So I hope that he kind of can sticks to that trend when he seems like he's kind of getting uh, like overtuned and getting pressured from Rose J and Mirror Man. Because I think him having that prep time like you were talking about is going to be very important for them overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll jump into this third map here, this third stage coming up. Again, same type of deal, you know, got the same type of stages coming up. Um, interesting, by the way, on their perks that they're not going for double, triple jump. That seems to be the most common thing that a lot of people go for is they commit two of their six perks towards double, ju triple jump, so that's committed. Instead, often just equip one of them. So all they need is a hit to get that second resource. So 
I guess they're just trying to like maximize the use of their perks so they have yeah, all no, the perks they can yeah. equip. And that's one of the biggest things too, right? I think that now in the situation, people are recognizing that, yes, if you do double up, then you tend to kind of remove some of these requirements to activate these perks. But if you're playing well enough and you're able to do that, then you will out allow some more diversity and you get to maximize some of the potentials as you were talking about. Yeah. But uh, let's see what they can do. Zoo and Chavo still rocking that double, triple jump to make sure they can be extremely mobile here and getting good damage already right off the bat. This seems like a much better start rather than what we saw in game two. Yeah, really helping them out in the beginning right now. Mirror Man's still playing extremely safe right now, trying to chill back, come in when he sees an opening with the up air. Only has seven damage to their name, but unfortunately, yeah. Rose J already at 91. It looks like Zeus trying to like find a way to figure that out, figure that the safe is active yet again. Oh, going up. What a great dodge. And oh, I love that, man. I, Mirror Man got mixed. Mirror Man yeah. got mixed the hell out of that because he thought he was going left and he definitely went right. That was yeah. too good. And he's still sitting in just 13, bro. Everyone's a high damage yep. except for Mirror Man. He's playing, he's playing the range roll correctly. Oh, Gets the side yeah. air charge too from full screen. Yeah. This isn't over yet. Let's sit back. Bro, Zeus saying it's not over. It's not over. Bruce said he hasn't had enough. Okay. The bomb grenade is there. We're seeing the charge. I love that. Dash trying to chase up top. Oh, oh the mix up. Oh, no. Oh, bad no. start for Zoo. Unfortunately, he died of very low damage, and now all of a sudden, Team Yellow kind of a precarious position. Three points to one. Jeez. Uh, purple team on the verge of taking this win. Yeah, that's that is a very rough sequence. He was trying to get himself, you know, somewhat early kill, but it wasn't enough damage. Tried to go high, and I love Roche understanding. You know what? I'm not in frame disadvantage. You are, and immediately going for that up special. Dude, that was a very clutch spike for Chavo to get on Mirror yep. Man. Another point on the board that makes it so it, the victory could be within reach. Mirror Man is at zero damage. They're going to have to go for some pretty risky stuff or get some big combos coming up. Oh, oh no. That's, that's going to yeah. be it. That's it. Got the sticky, bro. The second Arya throws that dagger at you, she can get some free follow-ups on top. Especially that to that high of a ceiling. Mm -hmm. Like right here because he committed to the backpack swing. But yeah. it wasn't a true combo, so Rose J was able to dodge out of that, stick him with the dagger, and basically turn the tables on him for that combo. Yeah, dang. She said, just, just another day in Winterfell, man. See you later. No, dude, I'll see you. Dude, the, the craziest thing I feel about this is Rose J, that was twice where Rose J recognized this is not a guaranteed combo. And instead of going in the head and going for a dodge like most humans would roche is like i'm built different i know you ain't comboing so guess what i'm gonna combo you instead yeah and thanks that was yeah thanks for playing <laughs> thank you for all of that <laughs> <laughs> thanks for bringing me up there dog you made my work a lot easier you know yeah. i appreciate that finn Ooh. but i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna stop you there yeah yeah i'm gonna <laughs> stop you right here i don't think i'll let you finish <laughs> yeah not, not at all 54 oh. damage oh, so man. many early Look kills from rose j by the way mm -hmm. just killing so both zoo and chaco Chavo at such low damage. Right. Like, oof. got him. Man, what a turnaround, right? And return to form. We saw that game one from Zoo and Zoo and Chavo, and we were like, wait a minute. This is the favorite to win? Hold one second. Do we yeah. got ourselves a match? And these guys just locked it in and like, no, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Don't get too excited out here. Can't let that, that happen. That game, too, was destruction, bro. Like, he literally just 